Hey yo, we are back with another Ethereum for Unity tutorial. This is going to be the demo too, and we are going to go ahead and grab this script. Now in the last one, I put the link for the script you needed down below. This one is exactly the same script, but with a couple of updates. We are actually going to grab the whole thing here. Um, the start all the way down to here. And we're going to take that and pop it into our pre-made class. But I did make a new account called F, uh, excuse me, account F. Okay, so we're going to be using this instead. And in doing so, we can actually take our F test. And we can run a little comparison to see what the difference is. So if we scroll back up here, we can see that this is basically the same thing. So I'm saying get uh, account balance here. Um, and then it's starting our code routine and doing this this is a, a lot more commenting here so oh no you know what that is the wrong file altogether we need to delete that this is the one we're looking at so there we go okay so that's a lot closer so um basically we're doing the same thing uh, except we don't have that public string wallet here so let's throw that in public string wallet okay um, and then we are going to oh wait we need that above start let's go ahead and close this now okay and then we're gonna put wallet here okay and then basically below this coroutine is going to be another coroutine we're gonna call create account uh, we're using a strong password that's not actually a strong password that is a fucking joke um, but yeah it works so basically it's going to encrypt it using this string here you won't be able to decrypt it without it so make sure whatever you put in for a password you remember and in fact let's again go and create a couple of public strings public string strong password this will allow us to enter whatever we want for a password and we'll get different e uh, encryption different encryption stuff uh, we're not we don't have the using methods in here we need to bring those um, the reason I didn't grab the whole thing is because I'm not this isn't the name of my class I changed it to account F because um, accounts kind of a common name for let's grab all of these using statements go back here um, and this is what we were missing the JSON RCP our RPC methods um, so now that that's gone we're gonna change public string strong password this to use our variable instead of just that random phrase all right and then this is uh, our callback method for get account balance we saw that in the last video this is our new code okay so this is basically what we've added um, create account it's going to take the string the password that we use and it is going to create a callback basically it's going to use the any ethereum signer to generate a key and then it is going to use that ec key to get a public address and a private key as bytes then it's going to create a key store and it's going to save this data in that key store and then the encrypted JSON is going to be um, where it does exactly that encrypt and generate default key store uh, using password private key address basically all the information that we put in there so let's go ahead save this we need to pop back over to unity here and we're actually going to delete this guy here that says ethnet because we don't need that. We're actually going to delete the get balance script and the eth test script as well. It does take a minute to update everything. Delete, yes, can't undo, I know. Okay, so um, here we have our script that we were just working on. This whole working script, other than the variables we changed, is available at the link below. Uh, but basically, I've created an empty called account and we are going to drag and drop it there which should give us access to our inspector variables variables so here we go so um, technically since I don't have a wallet yet 
I don't have anything to put in here, so I'm not going to fill that out just yet. Uh, the strong password we're going to make just a bunch of random stuff um, so now we should get an error saying that there's no such wallet here but it should still create the account that we need and return some stuff there in the console so let's check it out turn my phone down here so it stops dinging I love group messages. Not. Okay. Now. All right. So, get balance request did fail. Couldn't get the balance because we didn't enter a wallet. However, we did get a wallet here this is the wallet we created and we got a return text here for our cipher in order to this is basically a, a our account access here so in the in the return let's take a look in detail and see what information we're getting there basically we are printing the address and then we are printing the encrypted json so the encrypted json is the stuff that gets passed in here. Um, so the password, the private key, and the address are all included in that JSON. It's encrypted. The only thing that's not encrypted is the wallet itself. So you can see basically everything we need in order to access the wallet and store those variables and save everything. So um, all of this here is the return off of that so now you know how to create an account you know how to access the variables in that account let's go ahead and let's take since we're getting a return here um, let's take this guy go ahead and delete that and down here in create account when we create account we're gonna make it so it automatically returns the account balance as well in here um, and you can see it is using we're gonna change this to address all right so now we're using this variable that we're getting back and we're checking the balance there. So let's see if this works properly or if it's already encrypted at that point. Shouldn't get any errors this time because we're not calling that method on an empty wallet item. We're calling it on the returned wallet from this object here. So I know this seems like a lot to take in. I'm showing you how to set this up step by step because when we get to the step for sending and receiving, you're gonna to wanna to be able to see these uh, uh, signing tags and things like that and make sure that you know what actually is going on. Uh, you do need a signing key in order to send something from your wallet and that is included in the objects that we have here. So um, get balance request failed, get balance request failed. Hmm. So I guess the question is, did it use this address or did it use an obfuscated one in here? So let's see, I'm gonna undo what I did. So I don't really need that there and I do want this method to work properly for getting the balance. Let's see. If we can get, I can't steal that from there. Um, <laughs> well, so let's go ahead because I want to run this error free. 
Let's go ahead and run it without using any balance retrieval at all. Just the callback for setting up the new account. So save that. Run again. It's going to take a second to compile here. It shouldn't take too long. And we'll run it again. We should just get these two lines. So he already has a coroutine for getting the balance in here. Yeah. Um, moving this uh, doesn't do me any good. This is a, It does the exact same thing after we're done creating an account. So now that it's loaded, it's saying get balance request failed. It's still not finding a balance. Okay, I think I may know where the problem is coming in here. Okay, so we are, we are not using uh, Covan. So let's go get the right address here. Robston. So copy down. This is a test network. This, uh, this should work better. If we can get it to compile again, uh, I really should edit out some of this compiling time. But honestly, I like hanging out with you guys. So you know, you're just gonna have to suffer through seeing my ugly mug up here. How do you like that? And let's see where this error is at. Counteth sixty four. The balance request failed. Hmm. Huh. Error receiving data failed. Okay. Well, let's make sure that our network's still working this way. Let's go and grab dummy account wallet like we did in the other one. And since we uncommented that, I should be able to put this in here. And it should at least give us the balance of our actual account, if not the balance of the new account we're creating. So we're making sure basically that we haven't broken our connection to the, to the network here. So. Let's see what we got here. Did I not save that?
Try it again. Yeah, I would would edit through some of this stuff, but honestly, uh, I, I have done this before, and there are a couple steps you have to take. Okay, so we're getting... All right, now everything's working because we're getting zero returns for... Um, that is the wallet that it's calling the first time. This is the one that it's calling from our second line. So it is now working. So let's check out... Uh, this here was it seven a minute ago and now it's at nine you can see it did just make a couple requests so make sure that we got our oh, yep f get balance um, and then f block number let's see if we can jump this up to nine just to ensure that our code is working properly so it should call this twice um, once on the wallet that we punched in and once on the wallet that it's making both of the values should be zero again but we should also get to see a change here it's already made one of those requests And it's got to create the wallet in order to make. Ooh, yep. There's there we go. And still busy, which means it's still communicating. And here we have it. Yep, it's made two requests. And there it is. So um, you can see it working in real time. And we have created a wallet. We have checked the balance of that wallet as well as checking the balance of a regular wallet. So the next step is to add something to that wallet. And in order to do that, we have to ha add. We have to have something to add. So um, we're going to be using our test account to send some to a wallet that we just made, and that will be our first actual transaction sending Ethereum with Unity. So stay tuned. That will be in the next video. I apologize this video got a little bit long with all of the waiting, but I'd like to go through everything step by step and let you see where there are snags and where you might have trouble in order to properly diagnose any problems you might have. Because if I just give you the steps, um, when you do run into problems, you're not going to know how to solve it. So basically, a lot of waiting for reloading while we made a few minor adjustments, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a like, and Tech Never is out.